Hello and welcome to all of you in this tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to sort a list of objects using comparable interface in Java. So let's see what is comparable interface in Java. This interface is used to sort or order objects within a collection or array. Okay. That means if you want to rearrange objects in a particular sequence, you can use comparable interface for that purpose. So if you want to use this comparable interface, what do you need to do? So first step, what you need to do is you need to implement the comparable interface. Then there is a method called compare to in the comparable interface, which should be implemented by the class. Okay. Once you have implemented this compare to method, you can call collections.sort or arrays.sort to sort the objects within the collection or array. Now let's see how you can implement comparable interface in two simple steps. So step number one is you have to add implements comparable and the type in the class declaration. Okay. Let's see an example. In this example, we have public class user implements comparable and in the type we are mentioning user. That means this comparable interface will be used to compare user objects. That is the meaning of this line. So you just have to say implements comparable and the type of the user. So that is the step number one. Okay. What about step number two? In the step number two, we have to implement or override a method called compare to. Okay. So this is the only method which you need to override if you want to implement the comparable interface. Okay. So the purpose of this method is to tell us which object will be coming in which place and how to compare collection of objects. That is the sole purpose of compare to method. For example, here we are passing user object to the compare to since comparable says user here. So same user object should be passed to the compare to method. Okay. That you need to remember. Now we are saying return ID minus user dot get ID, right? So int is the return type of compare to method. So what are the possible return type or return values for anything which is there in this method? So the possible values are minus or negative. It could be minus one, zero or a positive value, right? So if the ID of the current object is less than ID of the object being passed, it will return negative value, right? If ID of the current object is equals to the ID of the object being passed, it will return zero, correct? If the ID of the current object is greater than the ID of the object being passed, it will return positive, correct? So based on that, comparable interface will sort out the objects on the list or array, okay? So if ID is less, it will be getting a sequence number which is at lower level. That means it will be higher up uh, in the sorting order. So as the ID increases, the object will be placed lower down. Okay. So that is how you, you have to implement compare to. So remember compare to method will always return an int value. Okay. So if it is negative, then the current object will be placed before the object being passed here. If it is positive, then current object will be placed after the object being passed here. Okay. So that is the clue you need to remember. And how do you invoke the sorting for collections. So that is also very simple. If it is a collection, you have to say collections dot sort. What is a collection? So it could be like list or set or anything which is within the collection framework. So if it is object of a collection framework, then you have to say collections dot sort. Here is an example. So here I'm assuming that users is a array list and it has implemented the comparable interface. Okay. So we have to see collections.sort because users is a list which is which belongs to the collection framework. 
if it was array then you have to say arrays dot sort to sort the objects in the array okay for example i have this user array and it contains three user objects in this format so if i want to sort this array i have to say arrays dot sort and user array okay so that's all you need to do so let's see an so let's see an example which i have already implemented okay i will explain the example so let's go to the workspace so i have this user object this implements the comparable interface and i'm saying that it's going to compare user objects so i pass this user over here this user object is a very simple class which has got two fields which is id of integer type and name of string type i have a constructor which takes both the id and the name and assigns them to these fields okay then i have getters and setters for id and getters and setter for name i have also implemented a two string method which will just print this object then we have compared to method which we saw in the slide it accepts a user object and it compares whether the current object's id is lesser or greater than the id of the object being passed okay and it will return an int value so for example if the current object's id is uh, 1 id of the user object being passed is 3 so 1 minus 3 is minus 2 right so that means this is a negative value negative value which will so which will be returned from this method and since this is negative so current object will be placed before this object being passed okay i'll come back to this bit later now let's go to a test class which i have created to see actual sorting being done okay so i have a array list or list of users i have user 1 user 2 user 3 user 4 and with the ids 5 7 1 and 4 i have created four users and i'm simply adding it to uh, the list okay i want to sort this list so what i have to do is i have to say collections dot sort for now uh, let's comment these two guys and uh, i will import collections which is part of java.utils as you can see okay now what i want to do is i want to go through all the users and print them so what is this object being used or what is the parameter being used in sorting so what you can do is you can come here and see it's using the id correct that means it is going to use id for sorting so here the ids are 5 7 1 4 ideally after sorting it should be 1 4 5 and 7 that means rini dev raj and ajay will be printed so let's see if it works that way i'm going to run it so that's what it did rini dev raj and ajay right similarly i also can do same thing for arrays so let's uncomment this and i will also import arrays so we have these same objects i am putting user 1 user 2 user 3 and user 4 in the user array and I, now if i want to sort it i'll say arrays dot sort right now let's print it so i will uh, just use this guy over here i think i removed it from there so let's uh, see how it prints okay so this is how it is printing correct now let's do one more thing uh, instead of id minus this let's do user.getid that means whatever user is being sent minus id okay so now let's see what happens So as you can see this can be used to do it in the descending order instead of ascending order so that is how you do for ascending and descending order the sorting for comparable interface okay so i want to show if i want to do it on basis of the name then how do i do it 
so let's come comment this guy and I'll uncomment this now I'm going to say compare the name dot compare to there is a compare to method already implemented with the object being passed you the name of that object okay so this is how it's going to compare so let's see if this guy works so I'll run it now and uh, as you can see now it has sorted in alphabetical order right so that's how you have to do it so it's very simple and uh, one more final thing I wanted to show so what happens if I just comment this implements okay since I'm commenting and it's, it's the override so I have to comment this guy also okay and uh, I comment this as soon as I do that collections dot sort starts giving error because it is expecting list of objects which implements comparable okay that is why it is giving compile time error and as soon as I uh, revert it and save it this compile error is gone so that's what I want to show you so let's see some key points while using the comparable interface that means we will summarize so first what you need to do is you have to add implements comparable keyword with the class which you want to make it sortable with comparable right second is you have to implement or override the compare to method where you will write the sorting logic and what about invoking the sorting if it is a collection that means list of objects in the collection framework you have to say collections dot sort and if it is array you have to say arrays dot sort so guys that's all i had i hope uh, this is useful to you so guys that's all i had for this tutorial in case you have found this useful please like and subscribe to my channel and also provide your feedbacks in the comment section i look forward to that and i'll be back soon with yet another tutorial on java basics till then take care bye bye